Uh, first, Jessica, I know you're really busy. Thank you for your time. Um, I uh, thank you, obviously, for the interview. Um, thank you for watching the movie. Thank you for wanting to speak to me. Um, you know, I think it's safe to say that you've been in a role, you know, uh, then, you know, since, since Coronation Street to Penny Dreadful to the end of the F word, no, no, sorry, the F word, uh, to Peace Guys Ahead and, of course, Holler. What, what caught your eye of Holler? Um, first of all, thank you so much for saying that, like, I've been on a roll. Well, that <laughs> feels great. I mean, it, it probably looks like that from the outside, but from the inside, sometimes it feels really different to that. Um, what attracted me to this role was working with a filmmaker like Nicole. Um, she was so passionate about this movie. So, I mean, just so driven with it. Such a strong person. When I met her, she had such a strong vision for the film. And, you know, pretty much told me that it was going to be the most challenging thing that I've ever done, which sounded like, I don't know, like she didn't think that I could do it, which obviously she's very smart because then she knew that I would want to do it even more. I wanted to work with Nicole and I wanted to tell the story of Ruth and I wanted to tell a story about Ohio and these places in the world and these people. Um I believe Ruth can become like inspiration for, your, for all young women uh, to fight for her own path and, and learn from it. What characteristics of Ruth do you see in yourself and what did you learn from her experience? Thank you so much. Um, I mean, Ruth is like so many people, you know, she, the path is not clear for her. You know, every door feels, I don't even know if it's doors are closed in her face. She doesn't really know where the building is you know so I think that everybody can relate to that like everybody can relate to feeling like an underdog and you don't know you know not just people that come from these parts of the world everybody can feel like they don't know how to achieve what they want to achieve and I hope that everybody no matter your age or your gender what you see in Ruth is if you, you have to believe in yourself, you know, and you have to go after it and, you know, you can't wait for anybody else to do it. You just got to do it yourself. Um, I'm going to enter into a little bit of spoiler territory here, but I want to talk about the scene where uh, Ruth's brother is telling her that she got into college, right? Like because of stuff that he, that he did. And we see her like having none of it. Is she being stubborn or she's trying to prove something or she do a little bit of both? I think that the relationship between Ruth and Blaze is really complex because there is so much love there and there's so much dependency and there's nobody else in their family. There's nobody else really looking out for them. But at the same time, there's so much anger there as well because there isn't anybody else. And you know that that is not normal and you don't want your parent to be your sibling. And that's what they're both experiencing. And there's a lot of stress living like that as well. And like, whose fault is it today? And, I, you know, sadly, I think that that is really how the majority of the people in this world live, actually. I don't, I think it's really rare if you have a conventional family and that relationship is just so complex. And at the same time, I think that they really feel held back by each other as well. Um, I have one point of question. Ruth has to uh, choose between a, ch a chance of her life or leaving her family and leaving her family behind or just staying and running the course. Uh, what life choices would you have changed to find a middle ground between these two options? I mean, in an ideal world, there would be more help in these parts. You know, these parts of the world wouldn't be forgotten and you wouldn't have to leave home to get the job that you want to do you know in the movie her teacher says to her in your situation you know essentially like living here with your prospects you have to work this program that's it like you're going to get this job and she's like what if I don't want to do that and the teacher is saying to her well you know that's the the only choice here for someone like you so she has to leave so ideally the middle ground is that a kid that lives in Ohio can go to school and be like I want to be Oh, uh, I want to be a, a teacher. I want to be a football player. I want to be an author. And they're like, great. Okay. So like you sign up and go to this university and it's not impossible, you know? Mm -hmm. 
if 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 I may, when I first when I question, uh, what did you expect? You know, maybe young girls or or anyone to take away from Ruth's story or or the whole movie as a whole. I hope that anybody, no matter what age, male or female, watches this movie. I hope that they want to go to Ohio because it's a great place. Truly, why not? Let's put Ohio on the map. And I hope that people realize that they make all the choices in their life, you know? Don't wait for a teacher to tell you it. Don't wait for an employer or like anybody, a friend, to tell you that you should do something. If you want to do it, you go and do it because nobody else is going to do it for you. That's awesome. Thank you, Jessica. And honestly, a great job on all, of, on all the different projects you have done. I, I, I love every Thank single you. of them. So thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you. Have a nice evening. Thank you. Bye.